What makes an evil person? Is it how many people they have killed? Or perhaps their crimes against humanity? Well here at Real 10, we have put together another list of top 10 evil people in history. So let's begin the countdown. Number 10. Andrew Jackson had the nicknames, Indian Killer, and Sharp Knife. He was a forceful proponent of Indian removal. He was a wealthy slave owner, and infamous Indian killer. He recommended that troops kill Indian women and children after massacres in order to complete the extermination. When Andrew Jackson became President of the United States in 1830, in only his first year he proposed the Indian Removal Act which legalized ethnic cleansing. Andrew Jackson was also the founder of the Democratic Party, demonstrating that genocide against indigenous people is a nonpartisan issue. He was not only going after the Native Americans, but also the African people. In 1818, Jackson invaded Spanish Florida chasing fugitive slaves and returned them to their owners. Number 9. Genghis Khan was the emperor of Mongolia from 1206 to 1227. His bloodthirsty nature led to many victories, such as a large part of China, but also the killing of countless people. If legends are true if his men ran out of water they would drink the blood from their horses. His army killed 15 million people in the Iranian plateau. A total of around 60 million people died during his reign. Through sheer terror he created the Mongol Empire, one of the largest empires in history that spanned from China and Central Asia. His forces even went as far west as Kiev modern-day Ukraine. Number 8. Next on our list was a charismatic churchman who claimed to have psychic powers such as healing and seeing into the future. Who forced his congregation to commit a mass suicide. This is Jim Jones. Born in 1931 and died in 1978. This cult leader promised his followers utopia in the jungles of Guyana. Jim Jones would be known as the prophet to his followers. In Guyana, he confiscated his followers' passports, stole millions of dollars, threatened his followers with blackmail, beatings, and possible death. He even staged ritual mass suicide rehearsals. Jim Crow couldn't run for long and within one year in 1978 United States Representative Leo Ryan along with a small group of reporters and relatives of the cultists came down to Guyana to see for themselves what was going on. Jim Jones ordered the assassination of the group but only five people were killed out of the group, this included Leo Ryan. Fearing the worst Jim Jones made his followers drink a poisoned punch and if they refused to drink it Jim was ready with a gun. Some call it mass suicide but we here call it mass murder. A total of 918 followers including over 300 kids under the age of 18 died. And for Jim died of a self-inflicted gunshot wound to the head. Number 7. George W. Bush. Now this is the second United States president on our list and it was because of you viewers we here at Real 10 dug deeper into the archives. George Bush was the 43rd President of the United States from 2001 to 2009. During his time as President the United States was attacked on their soil on September 11, 2001. This prompted one of the longest wars in history. The War on Terror. This led to the United States searching for Bin Laden. At the end of George Bush's second term of office, many people wanted him tried for war crimes for violations of such international law as the Geneva and Hague, and United States War Crimes Act, the Anti-Torture Act, and federal assault laws. There were up to 269 war crimes of the Bush administration that people wanted them held accountable for. Six war crimes committed in launching a war of aggression, 36 war crimes committed in the conduct of war, 175 war crimes committed in the treatment of prisoners, and 52 war crimes committed in post-war occupation. As of this date there has been no trial, or any word of there being one for this former president. Number 6. Sir Winston Churchill. Have you heard of the Bengal famine? Well if you didn't here is a short quick history lesson. The year was 1943 and this is at the height of World War II, and over 3 million people in India died of starvation. 
Many historians will say it was because of the lack of moisture that year, but the true reason was because of the British Empire, more specifically Winston Churchill's policies during this time that played a significant role in contributing to the catastrophe. In the book Churchill's Secret War, The British Empire and the Ravaging of India During World War II, Churchill was quoted on saying that the famine was because the, the Indians were breeding like rabbits. Luckily, in 1947 India gained their independence and since then famine deaths have been basically eliminated. Number 5. Judas, one of the twelve apostles, he is notorious for betraying Jesus for thirty pieces of silver. Judas was always the last one listed as the apostles, he was their treasurer. He told the chief priests where Jesus could be found out and betrayed him. Armed guards along with Judas headed to the Garden of Gethsemane near Jerusalem where he identified Jesus with a kiss, and addressing him as master. Number 4. Emperor Hirohito. This one will take us back to World War II again. This time we are focusing on what the Imperial Army did to the largest population in China. Chinese forces fell to the Japan Army in 1937 and General Matsui Iwin ordered that the city be destroyed. This is one of many atrocities that were committed during World War II. The Rape of Nanking. The Japanese butchered up to 150,000 men whom they perceived as prisoners of war, another 50,000 men civilians killed, raped 20,000 women and girls of all ages many of them mutilated or killed during the process. The emperor was never tried for these war crimes. General Matsui was found guilty and at the end of World War II he was executed. Number 3. Mary I of England. Who here has ordered a Bloody Mary, you know it has vodka, tomato juice, usually some spices, Tabasco sauce. Well, the she was the first ever Queen of England nickname was Bloody Mary and did she earn it. This bloodthirsty religious fanatic had over 300 religious dissenters burned at the stake. But that's not all. During her reign as queen luckily it was only five years, she would have you burned to death, along with your ashes thrown into a river because of heresy. In early Europe they considered it an infection for the body that had to be erased as not to infect society at large. Mary would die at the age of 42 during the influenza epidemic in 1558. Number 2. Elizabeth Bathory. This Hungarian countess, reign of terror lasted through the 16th and 17th century. A daughter of nobility her father controlled Transylvania, and her uncle was the king of Poland. She was raised knowing she was better than everyone. She was married in 1575 and had four children. Her husband died in 1604 and that is when rumors began to stir about her cruelty. Claims of slain women from Nobel families attracted attention in 1609 and an inquiry was done. Elizabeth Bathory had tortured and killed more than 600 girls with some help from her servants and bathed in their blood. In 1611 her servants were put on trial for the crimes and three were executed, Elizabeth never faced a trial, or found guilty of anything. She was confined to a castle until her death. Anyone fancy a bath? Now before we get to number one. I wanted to thank everyone for their support and comments. This second video is for everyone that commented, and if you have a person that should be in a top 10 leave a comment and tell me about them. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. Now on to number one. Number one, Mao Zedong. Mao was the leader of the People's Republic of China from 1949 until 1976. He has eliminated from this earth over 65 million Chinese people. He feared the intellectual, and bragged about burying 46,000 scholars alive. He brought about the Great Leap Forward, this caused the greatest famine in human history. From 1959 to 1961 between 30 to 40 million people died of starvation. Mao had a system of 1,000 forced labor camps. An estimated 50 million people passed through and 20 million died due to conditions in the camp and the forced labor. He was a true horror for the Chinese people and worthy of the number one spot. There you have it. 10 men and women who were true evil in this world. Remember to like and subscribe to the channel. More top 10 lists are in the works.